Hey everybody, my name is Lina and I'm here with Apex STEM Tutorials. Today we're going to be covering conditional statements. Now, conditional statements, for those of you who do not know, are basically checks that allow us to do something depending on something, but I'll explain it more as I go along. We're going to cover the if statement today and while we're at it, we're going to cover the if else statement as well. Don't forget to subscribe and like us for more content and let's get started with the lesson. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to demo to you guys really quickly what you're going to be building, which basically is a clicking game. So when you click on this sprite 10 times, the sprite will grow after 10 times. Let's get, uh, get into the code so we can teach you guys how to do that. Let me go ahead and do a new program. So what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a variable. And we're going to do that very quickly by clicking on the make a variable. And then we're, I'm going to call this clicks. Okay. And as you can see, my variable is showing up here. I can make it hide if you want to by clicking that. But I'm going to make it show because it's very important for me to know when I get to 10. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my flag because I always need this flag to be able to start my program. Now I want to find my if loop. Here we go. And the if loop is going to go under here. So we're going to do if and we want to check if our character has been clicked more than 10 times then we want something to happen. So we're going to go find our variable and put it in here and put in here. So this says if clicks equals greater than 10 then I want it to do something and in this case I want my sprite to grow. So we want it to change size by 10. And very important to be able to do these we need a forever loop in there. So let's get the forever loop which is also under controls. We're going to put it in here. And that's going to allow us to go ahead and make our cat grow. But we have to be able to check when our cat is clicked. So we're going to say when sprite is clicked, I want my variable to go ahead and change by one. And you can make a change by however many numbers you want up here. So let's go ahead and test this and see where we're at. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there we go. Now, we have a little problem here. Uh, if I were to reset the program, my cat size does not change. It stays big. So what we have to do is we have to go ahead and clear these variables here. So we're going to go ahead and clear the clicks variables. So we're going to set it back to 0. Because we want our clicks to go back to 0. And we want to go ahead and change the size back to normal size. So we're going to change the size to set it back to 100. And now, if I go ahead and click on the flag, the cat gets back to its normal size. The clicks go back to zero. And then if we click on this cat again, now the cat has grown again. This is the if. And how does it work? It basically checks if the clicks are, in this case, if the clicks are higher than 10, they make the cat change. All right, let's now test the if else statement. So that can also be found under controls. And we're going to pull it out right here. So what I want to do is in the if, do exactly the same thing that it's doing up here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this if out too. I'm going to duplicate this to copy it over. I am going to duplicate that to copy it over here. And then um, for else, so if my clicks are less than 10, I would like my sprite to go ahead and say something for two seconds. Let's say I wanted to say hello. And just for the kicks of it, let's make it say hello world. There we go. So now we're going to put it in here. So what this is going to do is it's going to come in here where it's going to set our 
variables back to normal so zero clicks and back to normal for our sprite and then forever is going to be checking if our clicks are greater than 10 then the size of the character will change by 10 else if the clicks are less than 10 then it's going to say hello for two seconds disappear and as long as our clicks are less than 10 it will keep saying hello okay let's try that And as you can see, the hello has disappeared. The if else basically checks something and it keeps another condition. So if it doesn't meet this condition, it'll do this. Okay, so the difference between this if and this if else is that for the if, you do this statement only when these clicks happen. So if the clicks are greater than 10, you'll do this, but you will not do anything else. The if else, then you will check if the clicks are greater than 10 then you do the change of the size for the sprite but if the clicks are not greater than 10 then you're going to do the else part all right guys thank you for joining me i hope you learned a lot today and we're going to be continuing covering different concepts of programming here so don't forget to follow and like us and uh thank you so much for being here with us we'll see you guys in the next one bye